Welcome to my Indie Spotlight, bringing independent studio games some attention that might have been overlooked. After my short overview and review, I'll include some of my initial gameplay as well. Littlebug is a wonderfully done platformer with a unique gameplay mechanic. You play as a young girl nicknamed Littlebug lost in a dream world. Littlebug is guided along with her ball of light through this scary dream world and deals with many obstacles. Littlebug uses dual stick control system which requires some coordination for certain obstacles. It's a very unique way of getting around. The ball of light is controlled with your right joystick and Littlebug is controlled with the left. The ball of light has a gravity beam on it with a limited timer that pulls Littlebug to it when using the right trigger. Controls feel great and the unique type of play is a lot of fun. I would have liked some sensitivity control in the settings though since the ball controls did feel a little touchy at times and most of my deaths resulted from that. Gameplay is great with a unique gravity beam swing mechanic. The game starts out easy and really gets you used to the controls before you are actually tested. Once the game does get going, the difficulty ramps up and really tests your coordination. Checkpoints felt good, not too forgiving, but you don't have to do too much over again either. Most puzzles are pretty easy, it's more about knowledge of where to put the light so you can quickly move Littlebug out of the way of the obstacles. One of the largest challenges was that the ball of light and Littlebug can both die from various obstacles throughout the levels so you need to be mindful of both at all times. Getting used to moving two objects separately at the same time is the challenge of Littlebug. In total, it took me about an hour to beat the game, just slightly over an hour from start to finish. There are collectibles in the game, so it does offer some replay value. The atmosphere and aesthetic in this game is beautifully done. The levels are well done with bright colors. It really is a soothing game to play. Aside from some frustrating deaths, it is very relaxing to play. The music soundtrack really does fit with the gameplay, speeding up during tense times and then calming back down. Overall, Little Bug was one adventure that was a delight to play. It's obvious that the developers put a lot of love into this platformer. I would recommend that everyone give this a try. But that's all I have for you today. You can find a link to the game in the description if you're interested in giving it a play. Leave a like if you enjoyed this video. Be sure to subscribe for more indie spotlights coming up. And if you know of any hidden indie gems that you have really enjoyed that you think I should play, let me know in the comments. Thanks for watching and I will see you next time.